Hans Christian Ørsted was a Danish physicist and chemist who discovered that electric currents create magnetic fields, an important aspect of electromagnetism. He is still known today for Ørsted's law. He shaped post-Kantian philosophy and advances in science throughout the late 19th century. In 1824, Orsted founded Selskabert for Nature and Zudbredelse, a society to disseminate knowledge of the natural sciences. He was also the founder of predecessor organizations which eventually became the Danish Meteorological Institute and the Danish Patent and Trademark Office. Orsted was the first modern thinker to explicitly describe and name the thought experiment a leader of the so-called Danish Golden Age. Orsted was a close friend of Hans Christian Andersen and the brother of politician and jurist Anders Sando Orsted, who eventually served as Danish Prime Minister. The Orsted, the CGS unit of magnetic H-field strength, is named after him. Early Life and Studies Orsted was born in Rudkobing. As a young boy Orsted developed his interest in science while working for his father, who owned a pharmacy. He and his brother Anders received most of their early education through self-study at home, going to Copenhagen in 1793 to take entrance exams for the University of Copenhagen, where both brothers excelled academically. By 1796 Orsted had been awarded honors for his papers in both aesthetics and physics. He earned his doctorate in 1799 for a dissertation based on the works of Kant entitled The Architectonics of Natural Metaphysics. In 1801 Orsted received a travel scholarship and public grant which enabled him to spend three years traveling across Europe. In Germany he met Johann Wilhelm Ritter, a physicist who believed there was a connection between electricity and magnetism. Their conversations drew Orsted into the study of physics. He became a professor at the University of Copenhagen in 1806 and continued his research with electric currents and acoustics. Under his guidance the university developed a comprehensive physics and chemistry program and established new laboratories. In 1800, Alessandro Volta invented a galvanic battery inspiring Ørsted to think about the nature of electricity and to conduct his first electrical experiments. Between 1800 to 1803, he visited to Germany, France and Holland for lectures. Ørsted welcomed William Christopher Zeiser to his family home in autumn 1806, taking the then young chemist under his care and giving him encouragement while offering him a position as his lecturing assistant. In 1812 he again visited Germany and France after publishing a manual called Videnskabern om Natrens or Mindelige Love and Forster in Dildning till den, or Mindelige Nachlehrer. In Berlin he wrote his famous essay on the identity of chemical and electrical forces in which he first stated the connection existing between magnetism and electricity. Then, in Paris he translated that essay in Latin with Marcel de Ceres. The Royal Society of London gave him the Copley Medal and the French Academy awarded him with 3,000 gold francs. Orsted was just 43 when he made this great discovery. He established the Royal Polytechnic Institute in 1829 of which he was the first director. Electromagnetism On 21 April 1820, during a lecture, Orsted noticed a compass needle deflected from magnetic north when an electric current from a battery was switched on and off, confirming a direct relationship between electricity and magnetism. His initial interpretation was that magnetic effects radiate from all sides of a wire carrying an electric current, as do light and heat. Three months later he began more intensive investigations and soon thereafter published his findings, showing that an electric current produces a circular magnetic field as it flows through a wire. This discovery was not due to mere chance, since Orsted had been looking for a relation between electricity and magnetism for several years. The special symmetry of the phenomenon was possibly one of the difficulties that retarded the discovery. 
It is sometimes claimed that Italian Gian Domenico Romagnosi was the first person who found a relationship between electricity and magnetism. About two decades before Orsted's 1820 discovery of electromagnetism, Romagnosi's experiments showed that an electric current from a voltaic pile could deflect a magnetic needle. His researches were published in two Italian newspapers and were largely overlooked by the scientific community. Orsted's findings stirred much research into electrodynamics throughout the scientific community, influencing French physicist André-Marie Ampère's developments of a single mathematical formula to represent the magnetic forces between current-carrying conductors. Orsted's work also represented a major step toward a unified concept of energy. In 1822, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. Later years, in 1825, Orsted made a significant contribution to chemistry by producing aluminium for the first time. While an aluminium iron alloy had previously been developed by British scientist and inventor Humphrey Davy, Orsted was the first to isolate the element via a reduction of aluminium chloride. In 1829, Orsted founded Den Polytechnisk Lærerinstalt, which was later renamed the Technical University of Denmark. Orsted died at Copenhagen in 1851, aged 73, and was buried in the Assistance Cemetery in the same city. Legacy the centimetre-gram second system unit of magnetic induction is named for his contributions to the field of electromagnetism. The 100 dance krona note issued from 1950 to 1970 carried an engraving of Orsted. The buildings that are home to the Department of Chemistry and the Institute for Mathematical Sciences at the University of Copenhagen are named the H.C. Orsted Institute after him. The first Danish satellite, launched in 1999, was named after Orsted. Two medals are awarded in Orsted's name. The Orsted Medal for Notable Contributions in the Teaching of Physics in America, awarded by American Association of Physics Teachers, along with the H. C. Orsted Medal for Danish Scientists, awarded by the Danish Selskabert for H. Lerens Udbred Elsa, which Orsted founded. The H.C. Orsted Lectureship is awarded to two prominent researchers annually, and has been bestowed upon the following scientists. Upcoming H.C. Orsted Lecture Dr. Jack Connerny, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, USA Mars Crustal Magnetism through the lens sharply, previous H.C. Orsted lecturers, Professor Michael Gratzel, École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, EPFL, Professor Pierre Giles de Gen, College de France, Nobel Laureate in Physics, Professor Iva Jareva, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, Nobel Laureate in Physics, Professor Paul F. Hoffman, Sturgis Hooper Professor of Geology, Harvard University, Professor Leroy Hood, William Gates III Professor, Institute for Systems Biology, Professor Sir Harold Croto, University of Sussex, Nobel Laureate in Chemistry, Professor Hugo de Man, Catholic University of Leuven, Professor Sir Roger Penrose, University of Oxford, Professor Julius Rebeck, Skaggs Institute for Chemical Biology at the Scripps Research Institute, Professor C. E. E. S. Decker, Nanophysics, 2 Delft, Professor Subara Suresh, Material Science and Biological Engineering, MIT, Professor Peter Greenberg, Microbiology, University of Washington, Honorary Professor Sir John Myrig Thomas, University of Cambridge, Professor Ahmed Sawail, California Institute of Technology, Nobel Laureate in Chemistry, Professor Nathan S. Lewis, Chemistry, California Institute of Technology, Professor Sajiv John, University of Toronto, Professor Howard A. Stone, Fluid Mechanics, Princeton University, Malincrod Professor of Physics and of Applied Physics Lean Vestergaard Howe, Harvard University, Professor Stanley N. Cohen, School of Medicine, Stanford University, 
Professor Juan de Pablo, Chemical Engineering, University of Wisconsin-Madison. Professor Mario Molina, University of California, San Diego, Nobel Prize winner. Writings. Orsted was a published writer and poet. His poetry series Luftskibbert was inspired by the balloon flights of fellow physicist and stage magician Etienne Gaspard Robert. Shortly before his death, he submitted a collection of articles for publication under the title The Soul in Nature. The book presents Orsted's life, philosophy and views on a wide variety of issues.